you soon, Chris. Thank you. Well, downtown Greenville is especially lively this weekend, and we have live team coverage of Fall for Greenville for you. We sent our Michael Cogdill down there to Main Street. Hi there, Michael. You find any snacks yet? Oh, there's a lot to snack on down here. And you were talking to me about the energy earlier. The energy down here is people are grateful for the energy that you see in the sky right now. The sun is finally out. People are in a great, great mood here. They expect 150,000 people over three days in the street, uh, in this, uh, here along Main Street and then the side streets. We're hearing the music already and look down that street. It's already a sea of humanity and we love to see it here. And people no doubt have some pent up energy because of last year. Take a look at some of the preparations going on. Last year, of course, COVID-19 did stall fall for Greenville. There was no fall for Greenville last year. This year, it is a full tilt festival. However, we still, of course, are dealing with COVID cases and the organizers say, if it makes you comfortable, wear a face mask to fall for Greenville, if it makes you comfortable, even if you're vaccinated. Take a listen. If you're vaccinated, you know, we think that that's great. Uh, wear a mask if that makes you feel comfortable. And, you know, when you are standing in line for ex extended periods of time, hopefully not too long, uh, definitely, you know, bring a mask with you and put that on. So we, we just hope everyone will come out and um, do whatever makes them feel safe. People coming out already. A reminder, this is an event that gives back. Uh, the ch upstate charities do benefit from this. There are more than 1,900 volunteers as well, and they still need volunteers, almost 2,000 volunteers, and they still need people. And if you're interested, go to WYFF4.com as you will look here at uh, some of the setup for some of the music. And we're hearing some of the music uh, just up the street here. If you want to volunteer, we got you covered right there on WYFF4.com. This reminder, if you're driving around downtown Greenville this weekend, be careful, be careful. There are going to be some streets closed tonight. Uh, Main Street, uh, some of the side streets closed through Sunday night. We'll leave this map up for a little bit. That pretty much sums up Fall for Greenville. Unless you're coming to Fall for Greenville, downtown is going to be difficult to get around this weekend. Again, 150,000 people expected here. The 40th year, so, uh, really a great, great iconic year. 40th year for this festival. And yes, sun's out, bring the kids. Right around Broad Street here, back out to me live. Uh, there is a kids area for toddlers, all of that. In fact, we can see the, the Mario go, go round uh, right there. This is a family friendly festival, of course. Lots of food, 40 restaurants. Again, big crowd already here on Main Street. Gabby, you asked me earlier about the, uh, the mood. The mood is good, especially after 2020 and the pandemic year. Yes, we're still dealing with the virus, but people are taking precautions and Fall for Greenville is on for its 40th year. Back to you. The mood is good. Michael, thank you so much. Well, if you purchase tickets for Fall for Greenville in advance, you can pick them up at the Will Call during festival hours. That starts tonight at 6 o'clock. Organizers say tickets for food items will cost between 2 and 12 tickets, and alcohol will be between 10 and 12 tickets. Each ticket costs 50 cents. All of the food options will be available uh, starting at noon today, and this, so, so, they're already available. That, that's an old script. Sorry about that, friends. I should have adjusted that. This, by the way, is Fall for Greenville's 40th year. And as you saw there, a huge draw for people is a food with so many talented chefs in the area. So let's continue our live team coverage and send it out to our Renee Wonderlick, who's in the thick of it. Renee. Well, Nigel, I'm here on McBee and Main, and if you take a look behind me, you can see just how popular all those restaurants are. Every tent filled with folks getting their food. And as you might have heard already, we've got 45 different restaurants here at Fall for Greenville, 250 menu items. And let me tell you, it smells amazing. There are also six stages with 78 bands going to play throughout the festival. And now that it's past four o'clock, you've got 50 beer taps and wine vendors here as well. You know, some of these restaurants have been here for several years. 10 years. It's the biggest event for us every year. I mean, we look forward to it. It takes weeks of gearing up and, you know, preparing for it. But I mean, this is the mecca of what we do every year. So we were excited, you know, after last year and having to skip it, we were excited to get back in the swing of things and get out here, get in the streets, talk to the people and just bring all of our meats back to everybody. 
that was the manager here of Sticky Fingers, and he was telling me earlier today when it was starting to pour down rain, his team really had to rally together to make sure all their food was cooked and ready because they say they just wanted to serve as many people as they could tonight, and folks were really excited for the barbecue. Again, I, it is too early to pick favorites when it comes to food, at least for me, try a little bit. And again, some people are telling us they're coming for the food. Other people are telling us they're here for the live music, and later tonight at 6, you're going to hear from a band that's playing later tonight. But for now, live in downtown Greenville for Fall for Greenville, Renee Wonderlich, WYFF News 4. Renee, thank you so much. And remember, you can learn more about Fall for Greenville by heading to WYFF4.com and the WYFF News 4 mobile app.